I'm going to read a few poems from the new book, In the Lateness of the World. I'll begin with a poem called The Boatman, and this poem really came about, Mark, in Wisconsin, <laughs> because uh, I'd spent uh, a lot of the summers of the past decade in the northern Aegean in Greece, um, where in, in recent years people have been fleeing no through North Africa and the Mediterranean and the Aegean to Europe, um, and many people die in the, in the Aegean, in the boats that capsize. Uh, and so it's become a kind of cemetery, the Aegean Sea. And I met one of the refugees in uh, the winter when he was up there driving a taxi. I was teaching in the winter semester at Mark, and I went with taxis because it was so cold. It was too cold to walk for me. And uh, he was the one who always picked me up. And finally we recognized that. And so at the end of the ride, he'd pull over and we'd talk while the snow fell. And he told me his story. And he asked me if I would write it someday. The boatman. We were 31 souls, he said, in the gray sick of sea, in a cold rubber boat rising and falling in our filth. By morning, this didn't matter. No land was in sight. All were soaked to the bone, living and dead. We could still float, we said, from war to war. What lay behind us but ruins of stone piled on ruins of stone. City called mother of the poor, Surrounded by fields of cotton and millet, city of jewelers and cloak makers, with the oldest church in Christendom and the sword of Allah. If anyone remains there now, he would be utterly alone. There is a hotel named for it in Rome, from the Piazza Spagna, where you breakfast under the portraits of stars. There, the staff cannot do enough for you. But I am talking nonsense again, as I have since that night we fetched a child, not ours, from the sea, drifting face down in a life vest, its eyes taken by fish or the birds above us. After that, Aleppo went up in smoke, and Raqqa came under a rain of leaflets, warning everyone to go. Leave, yes, but go where? We lived through the Americans and Russians, through Americans again, many nights of death from the clouds, mornings surprised to be waking from the sleep of death, still unburied and alive with no safe place. Leave, yes, we'll obey the leaflets, but go where? To the sea to be eaten? To the shores of Europe to be caged? To camp misery and camp remain here? I ask you then, where? You tell me you are a poet. If so, our destination is the same. I find myself now the boatman, driving a taxi at the end of the world. I will see that you arrive safely, my friend. I will get you there. <laughs>